Oh my hey there guys, today we'll be ranking the best Jujutsu Kaisen fights ever. Oh my hey there guys, today we'll be ranking every single fight. Oh hey there guys, every, every oh, look at me, I'm gonna do elements, look at me, oh. What the freak is all this fake content today, dude? Everyone's just trying to be at me so hard and it is not working out for them. Look, look at this, look at this. Doesn't make sense anymore. Anyway, hey Logan Paulers, it's your boy, Frederick Dinkle Dick, coming back at you with the only video that actually matters. Every single Jujutsu Kaisen fight ranked head toenail. Now, I can already hear those of you at home. Well, actually, with all your cool and sexiness, there's no way you can actually rank every single Jujutsu Kaisen fight. There's just so many and so many ass ones. Wait, could the, could the last part of it? And to that stupid ass question, I say, yeah, you're right. Every single fight not listed in this video will immediately go into the uh, ass section because I probably skip over them on rewatch or reread. Reread, re, re I never said that. And also, uh, manga spoilers. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Okay, number 37. Yuji versus Kogai. I. I, I just. What. What the. What the. What, I, how did this make it onto the list? Number. Th number. Number. Fuck. Number 36. Junpai versus Yuji. Everyone's favorite character, Junpai, returns to the school with his pet octopus. Badass, I know. Now, th this is just basically the most filler fight I've ever seen. 35. Curse now you fight. What? Perry the blast. Sorry. Yeah, most of this fight is just Maki fighting a huge rock flowing through a city. I mean, I love a domain expansion as much as the next guy, but for the Christ of me, I read this the other week, and I have no idea what they use domain does. 34. Bridge fight. This has got to be the most side villain looking asses ever. The only interesting part about them is they have a cool brother. We'll get to him though. We'll get to him. Don't worry about that. This fight was boring and I'll conclude it there. 33, Yuji vs Hikari. Uh, meow? 32, so Kin vs Megami. Cool animation, but it wasn't much of a fight. 31, Yuji vs Toto. Oh, uh, Toto, you may want to. Calm down, 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 Meow. 30, Yuta vs. Gato. When Yuta hit that black flash, I was white splashing like any other stunning gentleman. But apart from, can you just say the N-word? I'm sorry, but this fight is beaten by the Wash Trio, what happens like five minutes earlier. If you're beaten by the Wash Trio, I'm sorry, but you're trash. You're trash. Trash. All right, number 29, we're in the big leagues now. 29, Megami versus the Flamingo. I have to give it to him. The Flamingo hits one of the hardest bars I've ever seen. That is not the right line. What is it with the Flamingo character's anime just hitting incredible lines? Now, this was actually a good fight. I like it. We ended the good fight territory. Yeah, these twists and turns that kept me on the edge of my seat in the, the, the schoolroom, because you know, I was in a schoolroom when it happened, and the teacher came over to me and was like, What? Did are you not doing shit my pants. You know, and then you're doing It was a cool fight, but like, it was mostly filler, and this is what most people refer to, like, when they're speaking of cooling games being filler. 28. Wait, am I recording? 28. Gojo vs. Toji. I mean, holy shit. Oh, wait, this is the one. I mean, it's a good fight, the standouts being Max Blue and Gojo's fucking death. 27. Gojo vs. the Joe Goat. Holy testicles was this a fight to behold. When Joe Goat released his manly war cry before destroying and emptying Gojo's bull sack with a simple lick of his words. Before them flying away was a spectacle but he could hold for sure. And then when he released his domain and Gojo quivered in fear. The way he jumped Gojo and still got fucking swept as hard as Rock Lee and shipped it in was truly, uh, wow. This, is the, this fight is the first time we really got a good look at Gojo's powers, which includes flight, which I always forget about. We also got a good look at some good domain expansions for the first time, apart from Sukuna's- 26. 25, Gojo vs Miguel. Whoa, go, 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 calm down, calm down, go, I need to be rash. 24, my to enemy Yuji, with a peak bloom rotation or crazy sexual three-way. This was hype as hell with far too many hands in now. And then it ends with my to doing a huge domain expansion to his mouth, which I think is actually my favorite domain expansion. And it ends right when an enemy is about to be cooked, and then Yuji comes crashing through the top and all jelly beans, dude, what the balls is. 23, Kenjaku fight. Uh, 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 meow. 22. You had a hot sexy three-way and then there's this naked girl as well, she's there too. All I'm gonna say is, when this gets animated, it's gonna be one of the smoothest three-ways you've ever seen. 21. Yuji vs Higuruma. I know you don't know who that is, it's the lawyer guy, you're welcome. Possibly the most creative do domain in the entire series, I think it's gotta be my favourite. You've been found guilty of getting 12 private dances in the GDA strip club. Jesus Christ! Yes, I have reasons for shame, but I have not committed adultery and slurred my good name. I would never stoop so lame to beef with some titties and some video game. Bars. Bars. 
Right here we have a 240p resolution image of you currently get dressed as an alien giving head. You are my special. No, but seriously, why is bro posing with a bathtub like that? Bro does not know bathtubs Harrison. work. How do you how do you miss that? I was like gonna like, like three. Tony, Maki, Toji, and Panda, Fosquito, Togi, Mouth Guy. Oh, don't call him Mouth Guy. It's fucking gross, you freak. Shut your pants! Ah! Now, for some reason, this fight went cold as hell. And didn't reveal that Yuta was watching his friends get their asses beat. Uh, that's badass. I'd do that. Also, go drink and teleport. I just want to make this claw. Click, 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 click. Go drink and teleport. 19. Goju vs Sakuna, the first one. The animation was good, and it was all around good power scale for both characters. 18 Dagon fight. Now, first I thought this fight was ass, but then Toji showed up, and I was like, to summarize this fight, I'd say, Ooh, ooh, look at me, it's it's me, Dagon. I'm, I'm finally about to be relevant. Wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. Ah! Number 17, last should be your fight. Chozo had the most hypest fight I've ever forgotten about. As good as the animation fight stuff was, the pacing was kind of ass. Yuji Fushiguro. How'd I fuck it up that early? Yuji last name. Megami's sister is now Sakuna too, but shit. I find about to stop calling games, it's just a gladiator arena, but then I merge the Heon era, or whatever the balls with the current era. Shit, Sakuna will be fighting in there, so you better just think about that, I guess. Okay, bye. Bye bye. I love you though. I'm pretty sure people didn't even know what the calling games was. I'm still not fully sure what the fucking merger is. I think it's, um, maybe they kiss. It's like a sexual thing. 16. Eugene Toto vs. Hanami. Best fight in the entire series. First season. Yeah, this shit was smooth as shit. As you know, the common substancy of shit. And it's by far a standout in season one. And what secured it was Toto as one of the best characters in GDA. GD, GDA, I'm thinking of the GDA strip. Problem is, I'm pretty sure this is filler. I mean, let's not act like Hanami's powers really matter in, his, in her next fight. But holy frick, Boogie Woogie is possibly the best power I've ever seen. Over there with Spider-Man's webs, which would sometimes be power. 15. Maito vs. Mechamaru. Now, now, now. When I read the manga, I thought it was actually quite an emotional fight. In the anime, it was more... <laughs> and everyone... It was a lot more cool. Because this whole Maito, a crazy animation, is crazy. I don't normally like giant mech fights, but this was good. I like it. It's like it. The way he... Yeah, it's like it's nice. 14. Gator vs. Toji. It was neat. 13. Hikari vs. Kashimo. It was also neat. Number 12. Nah, I'm just kidding. Using my domain, I'm fucking invincible. I could just run away for a bit, then I've won. Nah, I'd win. You better turn up the music, because I'll be at a funeral for the living. Oh, fuck yeah. Why are you fucking naked? Oh, come on, little man. Where did you fucking pants go? Now, as great as this first half of the fight was, I think it was incredible. I'm almost sure everyone forgets for the second half. 12. Nenemy vs. the bomb. I, I liked it. 11. Maki's obliteration of the Zenin clan in perfect preparation. Maki's heart, I mean, Maki's emo, I mean, Maki's heart sister dies, and ha Maki, hot Maki, opposedly to ugly Maki, but not to make it fun of this. Her hair changes color, she's so angry, and then she claps the cheeks of her whole clan, and we. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was really cool. Uh, yes, oh, uh, yes, it was cool. Yes, uh, Maki, but a pillow, yes, no, no, no. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Ten, the entire Shibuya Mahito fight. It's practically one big fight, so get off my ass. So, like any good fight, it starts off with a bang, and then it gets into the eye popping action. I mean, they really got, they really needed a hand. So, I thought that, so they're bringing Toto, the Toto's hand, and oh man, it just went up from there. I'm pretty sure Mahito and Yuji kissed at some point. Oh my god, do I remember that. Boogie Woogie has never looked more sexy, wexy. And oh man, Man, oh man, Toto was clapping more than Mei Mei walking down the train station. Number 9, Megami vs Toji. Uh, me when, uh, my me? Number 08, Yuki and Chozo vs Kenjaku. Premium jumping technique. Yuki's power to increase the size of her ass, I mean, sorry, sorry, increase the size of her mask. It's still crazy that Yuki was the only one that died to a giant mask hole. Sure was one hell of a chapter. I know the other two are enjoying it. Wait, wait, what's a- oh, wrong side, my guys. Number 7, Gojo vs Toji rematch. Ooh, rematch. Yeah, we've reached pick fiction, and maybe non-fiction, who knows? This ain't much of a fight, which is, which is practically why it's number 7, but overall, you know, it's it's number 27, PLAY THE MUSIC! Okay, shut that shit off, it's too loud. Number 6, the Megami Sakuna fight. No, 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 not the Megami vs Sakuna fight, the Megami Sakuna fight. First, I'd like to apologize to all my Megami fans out there, a second... LET'S FUCKING GO! Yuji is fucking cracked, Megami is fucking hot, Makami is hot and usual, Makri! And then for all you Rami fans out there, huge Rumami return at the end, I see Mumami. This is mostly because Yuji pops off in the fight and has these iconic panels. Oh my. 
Number 05, the Sakuna Raid. That's right, this is just one big fight, even more outrageous than the Mahito, but like, Yuji once shows up, he never leaves, so it's technically a one big fight, but also adding the Kashiman part. But the bad thing is, is Kashimo screwed over the Gojo switch, every single person but Yuji's on Fraud Watch, and lack of Hakari and Yurame. Okay, now it's over. It's a break! Oh my, oh, I just spat everywhere. Anyway. Yuji cashes in his big brother card and switches up Chozo for Toto. Yuta Domain, Yuji Awakening, Sakuna Got Curse, Spokehead, Shiesty Sorcerer, True Form, German. I know what you're looking for! Oh, it's so fucking deep! Number 4, Sakuna vs Daddy Maharaga. This is completely unfair because it's some of the great- Sorry. This is completely unfair because it has- It's great in the manga, but in the anime it's the craziest shit ever. Some of the best animation I've ever seen with a massacre of a domain. A true funeral for the dead. Maharaga's size confusing the fuck out of me, and then- you just freaking out and they led me to Mahito, dude. Oh my god. Are you special? Bam, man, nah, 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 nah. And you know what all oh, that reminds me of? Number three, Jogo vs. Sakuna. Yeah, you, you know who it is. He is no interruption. But we're gonna give him one anyway. It's the Jogo. Stand ball, Sakuna. You're a wiener. What? <laughs> the way Jogo thrashes Fraud Kuna through almost every single building, ending with his most famous catchphrase. What's up, guys? <laughs> Number three, Trizzle vs. Yuji. When I read this in the manga, my first thought was, this would go crazy when animated. And I was, I was right, dude. I was, I was right. Start to finish, it was a great introduction, incredible fight. Dude, it's so smooth. He goes, every, every single second of it can is my wallpaper. It's, it's a, I've got like a really long phone. Do I even need to say more? It's peak. Number two, who gives a fuck? Number one, Gojo vs. Sakuna. Rah! It's peak. From start to finish, I was floating in the middle of the classroom with ecstasy while reading this peak live. Oh, you thought they were gonna punch the door, but they punched the whole building! Oh my balls, what's Gojo gonna do now? Oh, he's gonna be- he's hitting the hollow purple! And then, oh my god, they've wasted their domains, what's he gonna do? Oh my god, Falconer is washed! Oh my god, Maharaga! What? Dr. Sir Maharaga? Oh my god, they're looking at radical fight! Oh my god, he's hitting another purple! Oh my god, Gojo's win! Holy balls, what the win! Wait, wait, what's the- oh, oh. Thank you for watching, uh, my neighbor, oh, my neighbors, my neighbors.